Interswitch SPAC is an Interswitch Switch a Future initiative. Team Mercury, our bridge is not an option. Okay, so we've agreed that this is the most popular mode. So we've identified the the pain point. So our job is to propose solutions that would fix this, make this experience better. And then also recognize the fact that if we leave this as the primary mode, which is this which is the case and which is why the summary of our project uh, is to ease the problems of mass transit in Nigeria using technology. Do not expect the average from us. Uh, we'll keep our lips tight in terms of uh, what we're bringing to the table. Um, we don't want you to see us coming. Um, we understand the problems, we understand um, the essence of teamwork and collaborative thinking and we are bringing this to bear in the course of, of, of this uh, very interesting project. We are going to harmonize all the ideas, all the problems and try to see how we can infuse solutions that would not only address the problem in Lagos alone or in Abuja alone but of course would span across other parts of the nation. And of course, technology is doing so much and we believe we have strong minds, we have smart minds here. It's been interesting working with them and the ideas we've heard them share is very remarkable and um, it's an eye-opener to a lot of things. I think for me, I've had fun, uh, you know, and um, for me, I've, I've been learning as much as they have been learning from us. I believe my team's innovation is going to change the world because we have been able to bring up realistic ideas due to the incredible amount of teamwork within both the teammates and the team captains. So we have been able to consider a lot of ideas that are actually feasible and we can actually bring into action and not things that will take like a lot of time, like decades and millennium, but we have actually been able to leverage technology in bringing us realistic ideas that can actually help our country. Team Mercury, our bridge is not an option! Interswitch SPAC is an Interswitch Switch a Future initiative. <sighs> Problems. Who doesn't have them? Some problems are embarrassing. Some are humiliating. Some are unsuitable. Some are testing. Some are unexplainable. Some you just have to laugh about. And some Maybe not. Whatever life dishes you, you can always be sure you'll have one less thing to worry about when it comes to making payments, sending money, paying bills, and everyday payments. Quick Teller. Everyday payments made easy. What keeps you going when everything that should be a stepping stone becomes a stumbling block? What keeps you going is Verve. Verve in your mind helps you understand that every stumbling block is actually a stepping stone. Verve in your vision helps you see nothing but possibilities. And Verve in your hand? Well, let's just say that's how you get rewarded for not giving up on you. No matter what you're into, Verve is key to opening the doors you want. The only question that really matters is, have you got Verve? Verve, the rewarding way to make payments. Innovation is a field that powers a technology-driven world. That is why Interswitch Spark is in search of young, outstanding innovators in Nigeria. Interswitch Spark is where education, science, technology, and innovation meet entertainment. This is a show where we celebrate excellence and innovation amongst the next generation of scientists. This and more after the break.
This competition is in several parts. It begins with the Masterclass, then the Innovation Challenge, followed by the Interest Rich Spark TV series, the Adopt a School Initiative, which is a community service program, and many more, all woven to make science fun for everyone, especially our young scientists. Over 13,000 students across Nigeria registered for the Interest Rich Spark Reading Examination out of which 81 students with the highest scores qualify to be here on Industry Spark 1.0. Industry Spark 1.0 began with the masterclass, which took place last week. If you missed it, not to worry. Simply head on to our Facebook page at Industry Spark to catch up on the fun. Industry Spark is proudly brought to you by InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on, and endorsed by NECO. It's evident that InterSwitch is committed to supporting and improving STEM education in Africa. That is why the winner of InterSwitch Park 1.0 gets 7.5 million Naira, which covers a five-year university scholarship inclusive of a monthly stipend. He or she also gets the laptop and the bragging right as best science student in Nigeria. The second place winner gets 4 million Naira, which covers a three-year university scholarship inclusive of a monthly stipend. He or she also gets a laptop. Now the third place winner isn't left out either, as he or she gets one million naira, which covers a one-year university scholarship. Wow, I'm sure these prizes have sparked up something in our viewers. Yes, it is quite rewarding to positively affect the society with your innovation. This is Industry Spark 1.0. We'll be right back. This lady has nothing to do with this commercial. Absolutely nothing. We just used her to get your attention, which judging by your reaction, <laughs> we've succeeded. You see, if we didn't pay her, you wouldn't have stopped to listen to how QuickTeller makes everyday transactions easy. Well, with QuickTeller, you have one less thing to worry about when it comes to paying bills, sending money, buying airtime, and much more. QuickTeller. Everyday payments. Made easy. What keeps you going when everything that should be a stepping stone becomes a stumbling block? What keeps you going is Verve. Verve in your mind helps you understand that every stumbling block is actually a stepping stone. Verve in your vision helps you see nothing but possibilities. And Verve in your hand? Well, let's just say that's how you get rewarded for not giving up on you. No matter what you're into, Verve is key to opening the doors you want. The only question that really matters is, have you got Verve? Verve, the rewarding way to make payments. InterSwitch Spark is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. Welcome back. This is still InterSwitch Spark 1.0. Proudly brought to you by InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. InterSwitch Spark 1.0 has two major segments. We have the Innovation Challenge and the InterSwitch Spark TV series. In the Innovation Challenge, these 81 scientists, as I like to call them, have been drawn into nine teams of nine students. Each team would work together to prefer innovative technological solution to a particular problem in our society. This doesn't go unrewarded, as the best team wins the Founders Award. Now, after teamwork, these same nine scientists then move on to the InterSwitch Spark TV series. There, they compete for the position of Nigeria's best science student. To kick off the innovation challenge today, we have Team Mercury. Team Mercury is led by their captain, Zeyna Blawal and Tochoku Eguchuka. They, alongside their mentors, will be proposing a solution that helps address the problem facing Nigeria's public transport system, leveraging technology. Over to you, captains. Good day. We are Team Mercury, and we are here to propose our solution that addresses the problems facing Nigeria's public transport system, leveraging technology. These are our teammates, and together we believe that average is not an option. In our team, Team Mercury, we have been able to identify problems in the Nigerian public transport system. And based on data collected, we have been able to identify two of the biggest problems 
which are indiscipline and traffic congestion. Our focus as a team is to eradicate indiscipline and to reduce congestion on our road networks. Together, we have been able to come up with an integrated solution that deals with both the intramodal system and also the intermodal system of transportation. For the intramodal system, we have the integration of smart and movable road demarcations and smart traffic lights. While the intermodal system, you can just sit back and imagine Uber for waterways or just Google Maps for waterways. Here, engineer Tochuku would take us through the mechanisms. Imagine a road with movable and smart demarcators. Demarcators that can move either to the left or to the right to allow to provide space for mass transit. If you take a look at this, at the image on the left, at the peak period of the day, that's maybe in the morning or in the evening when people go to work or come back from work. This one is talking about the typical morning ride. That is in the morning. You can see that on the left side of the road is very much congested than the right side of the road. So this, this demarcator that we are proposing is able to move, as you can see from the image on the right, it moved to the right and provided more space for vehicles on the left to, for, for mass transit. Now, the mechanism of this demarcator is as follows. It has a wheel underneath which provides easy movement either to the left or to the right. And it also has a drone which is providing live feeds, live feeds in real time and sending them to a control tower where a human, where a human operative can, with the push of a button, either move the demarcator to the left or to the right. In this case, it will move to the right to provide space for vehicles to pass. So, to curb the indiscipline of drivers who pass who pass even when the light is red, then we now develop the barricades. These barricades have the ability to emerge at an angle of 45 degrees when the traffic light shows amber going to red, so that thereby restricting drivers from passing, and it will then sub submerge when it turns amber going to green, so it can allow the drivers to pass. Now, the intermodal, that's the water. We developed an initiative or a system, if you like to call it that, a system which we called the ferries rapid transit. Now this is a, a, a system which will allow for a very secure system where we could use the waterways, thereby re removing more cars from the road. Now this system will be very secure and it will also provide insurance. Now we we'll use specific standards like the boat size, the boat capacity, and also there will be protective gadgets and instruments like the life jackets, which will provide security. Now we developed an app which can provide an interface between passengers and the FRT, which is the Ferris Rapid Transit. Now you can see the layout of the app. You see that this guy wants to go from Aja to Ikorodu using the waterways. So you could book a ticket and pay, and also rate the, the company, so that if another passenger that wants to board a ferry will know the company to use based on the ratings we have given. Now for security purposes, there could be a drone hovering over the ferries to provide live feed in case of mishaps or accidents. And these are the solutions we have preferred to the public transport to the problems facing the public transport system. And I believe that these solutions are feasible and accomplishable. Thank you. Wow, what a revelation. Good job, Tim Mercury. But now it's time to defend your proposal. To help us scrutinize the viability of your solution, we have a panel. Sitting on our panel today, we have Baba Femi, Babo, and Baba Tunde. A round of applause for our panelists, please. <laughs> so Baba Femi, what do you make of their proposal? I think one of the thing, interesting things I found was the fact that they used data to get a sense for what the real problems are. And I think we don't do that enough. A lot of us try to just come up with solutions without uh, an indication of what you know, the real problems are and what the real issues are. But I think they, they went straight to getting data first, identifying the real problems, and then coming up with the solutions. So I think that's a very good one from the team. OK. Do we have any more questions for them? OK. So very good presentation again. and. Um, I see that you have used data in um, arriving at the things that you want to address. I just have one question. Um, you mentioned, um, you know, bad roads. So there's a lot of focus on infrastructure, which is uh, which right and rightly so. 
and you had mentioned that bad roads was you know one of the issues you um, had identified. I'd like to ask um, how you would like to leverage technology to help us fix the problem of bad roads. We thought of placing um, mini mini machines by the side by the side by the side of the roads, so that anytime there's anytime there's erosion or anything that causes um the anything that causes irregularity on the road, this. These machines we, we sense that there is a pot or something on the road and we immediately go there to fix it and go back to their posts. But I think to be fair, the team focused on the two top problems. Problems. Yeah. All right. So uh, I think if you're gonna ask questions, you ask questions around those two top problems that they that they try to address. One question though that I didn't quite get was around um, uh, around the how to deal with indiscipline. You, 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 you said, um, I didn't quite, you said there will be barriers or there will be uh, some depression uh, that might cause a potential crash, is that what you said? Okay, can you explain that a little bit more? I said that some drivers at the points of traffic lights, even when the light is showing red, they will drive past without paying attention to the traffic light. So to cop that incident, we now have barriers or barricades that will be able to emerge when the traffic light showing ember going to red. It will emerge so that no driver will be able to pass through to stop them from passing. Okay, all right, thank you. I think the presentation is very good and I agree with um, the other panelists um, around the use of data. It was very well done. Um, the question I have is around how you send um, the images. Is it in real time? What's the I mean, or at intervals, what are the intervals? Since it's a, a human operative that will be at the control tower, the images will be sent in real time, so I can make decisions based on the images. Okay, don't you think that the barrier system could also be an impediment to the flow of traffic? I'm saying, if it's gonna take a while, or what's the speed of the barriers lowering to allow motorists to pass through? Couldn't that be an impediment on its own? Considering that fact, the, we came up with uh, some, uh, a light, red light that will be attached to the uh, demarcations. Anytime, that, anytime the, oper uh, the operative at the center pushes the button, it will, begin, it will begin to glow. That is, the light attached to the demarcations will begin to glow red. That is indicating to the people along the road that it wants to start moving. So at that point, people, the ones near the uh, demarcations will begin to diverge and it will also be a gradual process so that it doesn't cause any uh, okay just a follow-up question on that so are you saying that you require operators to lower or raise these barriers or it's automatic it's automatic okay all right well done Tim Mercury you've done very well I must say but at this point, we can only wish you the very best when the jury gives their verdict later on in the season. But I can assure you that if you win, the prize will be worth your effort. A round of applause for Team Mercury. <laughs> we'll go on a short break now, and when we return, Foundation Round begins. Interswitch SPAC is an Interswitch Switch a Future initiative. There is a special breed of people who are never satisfied, who will not recognize the boundaries of day and night, who never compromise, who want the next thing they create to be better than anything that's gone before. People like this aren't always easy to live with. At Interswitch, we owe them everything. Because of them, we continue to create a range of payment solutions that are quick, safe and easy to use for anyone from a big bank to a salon. And by coming up with answers to problems before the problems happen, we've always stayed ahead of the curve. Without our special people, we wouldn't be into Switch. So wherever your imagination takes you, we will be there with the payment solutions you need to thrive. InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. Preparing dinner already? Very nice. Remember you have to buy cereal for the kids. Then you need to see your mother-in-law this evening and book the cake for Junior's birthday party this weekend. Oh, the cable TV has expired. If you hurry up, you can still make it to their office. Oh, 
Oh, quick teller. Sweet. Now that's one less thing to worry about. Matter of fact, make that 10 less things. Well done. Quick teller. Everyday payments made easy. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. My name is Olaali Mubarak Dolako from Unilorin Secondary School, Kwara State. I am Ofo Ugochuku Prince from University of Nigeria Secondary School in Enugu State. I'm Daniel Uriafe from the Ambassador's College, Otago State. The name is Agachuka Numudu from the Apostolic Faith Secondary School, Antony Village, Lagos. My name is Oji Keneta Adios. I'm from Government Science Secondary School, Piakasa, which is located in Abuja. My name is Yusuf Farouk from Providence Science Secondary School, Fagba, Lagos. I am Zaina Blawal from City of Knowledge Academy, Ijebuide, Ogun State. My name is Yusuf Abib. I am from Iloy Secondary School, Iloy Kwara State. My name is Eguchi Katoj Konyezi. I am from Shalom Academy, Soka Enugu State. Welcome back. This is InterSwitch Park 1.0, proudly brought to you by InterSwitch and endorsed by NECO. Now, this is where Team Alliance ends and a healthy rivalry begins. It's no longer all for one and one for all, as each man must stand and compete for the position of best science student in Nigeria. It's time to prove your mettle in subject areas of physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology, and general knowledge. Are we fair? How do you feel being here on this stage? I'm a bit nervous, uh, but it's great to be here. Well, it's okay to be nervous, but you guys are super sparks. You've made it thus far. So now is your time to spark. Enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get down to business. Interstate Spark is in two levels, the foundation and the advanced. In the foundation round, all nine of you would have an equal chance to attempt 16 multiple choice questions from different general science subject areas, each within a 15 second window. Max will be awarded based on individual speed and accuracy. For questions in this round, the first five of you with the correct answer earns the maximum 10 points each, while others with the correct answer to the same question earns five points. An incorrect answer or no answer at all earns you zero points. At the end of this round, only five of you with the highest cumulative score will proceed to the advanced round. Do you understand? All right, I wish you the very best. Question one. Plant hormones include the following except A, oxygen, B, gibberellin, C, cytokitin, D, insulin. Now answers are in. Everyone got it right except Ugo Chuku. Question two. What is the pH of 0.1 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid? A, 13, B, 7, C, 5, and D, 1. Our results are in. Thaddeus, what happened? Nothing? No. Were you nervous? A little bit more. Okay, just calm down. Just calm down, okay? Question three. What is the ratio of the frequencies of two notes which differ by an octave? A, one ratio four, B, one ratio three, C, three ratio one, and D, two ratio one. Four people got it wrong. This must have been somewhat of a tough one. Thaddeus, you also got this one wrong. Are you still nervous? No, ma'am. All 
All right. Tochuku, you also got it wrong. What happened? Nervous? All right. Let's move on to the next question. Question four. The figure shows two inclined mirrors. How many images of an object placed in front of the mirrors are possible? A, seven, B, four, C, two, and D, five. Our results are in. Zainab, you have that look of, oh my God, I mistakenly clicked the wrong option. Was that the case? Yes. That was the case. Okay, be sure before you enter your answer, okay? Okay. Okay. Question five. What is the magnitude of the vertical component of the larger force in a system of forces shown in the image? A, 12 Newton. B, six Newton. C, five Newton. And D, zero Newton. Wow, this must have been a tough one. Only Akachuku and Aurel Fair got it right. I got no response from Thaddeus and Yusuf, Gochuku and Zainab. What happened? No response from four of you. What happened? Thaddeus? That was difficult? Okay, for the purpose of those that got it wrong and didn't answer at all, the answer was A, 12 Newton. All right? Next question. What is the value of F in the diagram? 1,215 Newton, 250 Newton, C, 312.5 Newton, and D, 314.5 Newton. Only Akashuku got this one right. And I didn't receive a response from every other person. Wow. Akashuku, are you familiar with this sort of question? Have you solved it before? Not really. Okay. Remember, you have 15 seconds to lock in your answer, okay? Next question, question seven. What measuring instrument is displayed? A, gas thermometer. B, clinical thermometer. C, barometer. And D, sixes thermometer. Five people got it right and four people got it wrong. Thaddeus, what is happening? Are you still nervous? Are you? Well, I'm getting the hang of myself. Okay. Next question. Question eight. Which number matches the balance spring or hair spring of the device shown in that diagram? A, two, B, three, C, four, and D, one. Everyone got this wrong. Wow. This must have been a difficult one. Okay, since everyone got it wrong, I would reveal the answer. The answer was B. But we're halfway through the foundation round. How 
has the round been thus far? Totoku, let's start with you. How has it been? I don't really know. Tough, really. Tough? Akachuku, has it been tough as well? To an extent. To an extent? Yeah. All right, Oriofe? Yes, it has been tough. Okay. I guess we can all say it has been tough then. All right. Eight questions down, eight more to go. This is Industry Spark 1.0. We'll be right back. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. This lady has nothing to do with this commercial. Absolutely nothing. We just used her to get your attention. Which, judging by your reaction, <laughs> we've succeeded. You see, if we didn't pay her, you wouldn't have stopped to listen to how QuickTeller makes everyday transactions easy. Well, with QuickTeller, you have one less thing to worry about when it comes to paying bills, sending money, buying airtime, and much more. QuickTeller. Everyday payments. Made easy. Preparing dinner already? Very nice. Remember you have to buy cereal for the kids. Then you need to see your mother-in-law this evening. And book the cake for Junior's birthday party this weekend. Oh, the cable TV has expired. If you hurry up, you can still make it to their office. Oh, quick teller. Sweet. Now that's one less thing to worry about. Matter of fact, make that 10 less things. Well done. Quick teller. Everyday payments made easy. Welcome back. This is Industry Spark 1.0, and we are still in the foundation round. Question 9. An oxide which reacts with both acids and bases to form salt is called. A. Neutral. B. Alkaline. C. Amphoteric. D. Corrosive. Everyone got it right. Congratulations. <laughs> Question 10. How many electrons are in the L shape of phosphorus 15? A, 16, B, 2, C, 5, and D, 8. Four people got it incorrect. Question 11. The characteristics of alkane family is dash reaction. A, substitution, B, elimination, D, addition, and C, decomposition. Question 12. The machine which could do both addition and subtraction invented by Blaise Pascal in 1642 was a. Abacus B. Jacket's Loom C. Pascaline and D. Analytical Engine Six people got it right, while three got it wrong. Question 13. Which of the following compounds would dissolve in water to give a solution whose pH is less than 7? A. L2NO33 B. KNO3 C. NH3 and D. NO2 Three people answered incorrectly. Question 14. Which of the following organisms are producers in an aquatic habitat? A. Bantons. B. Zooplanktons. C. Phytoplanktons. And D. Nuits. Everyone got it right except 
Ugochuku. All right, question 15. Which of the following phenomena is not caused by air pollution? A, acid rain. B, global warming. C, transpiration. And D, reduction of ozone layer. Congratulations, everyone got it right. <laughs> question 16, the final question in this round. Which of the following processes is not an example of a reflex action? A, yawning, B, sneezing, C, blinking of the eye, and D, eating. Everyone got it right. Now we've come to the end of the foundation round. Zainab, how confident are you that you'll make it to the advanced round? Um, about 40%. Well, you never know. You never know. What about you, Aurel Fair? Can't really say. You can't really say. Akachuku, are you confident that you'll make it? 50%. Pardon? 50%. 50%. Uh, okay. All right. Our results are in. Who amongst you? will make it to the advanced round. Thaddeus and Yusuf, you both scored 85 points. But you can see that speed is of utmost importance here as speed was what made Yusuf make it to the advanced round. So, Thaddeus, Zainab, Ugochuku, and Mubarak. It's been an honor having you here today. You've done very well from the innovation round to your internal school qualifying exams. We are all very proud of you. I'm sure we haven't had the last of you yet. Go on and continue to spark up the innovator in you. A round of applause for them as they exit the stage. Nine scientists began this round. Now we are down to five. Stay glued for more actions. We'll be right back. What keeps you going when everything that should be a stepping stone becomes a stumbling block? What keeps you going is Verve. Verve in your mind helps you understand that every stumbling block is actually a stepping stone. Verve in your vision helps you see nothing but possibilities. And Verve in your hand? Well, let's just say that's how you get rewarded for not giving up on you. No matter what you're into, Verve is key to opening the doors you want. The only question that really matters is, have you got Verve? Verve, the rewarding way to make payments. Penicillin. Ethanol. Flour. Sugar. Glue. Whiskey. Corn silk. Starch. Oil. Livestock feed. All from corn. You will discover endless opportunities when you search deeper. And to enjoy their full worth, you need an innovative payment solutions partner that creates value from the obvious and sees opportunity in the not so obvious. InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative.
Welcome back. This is the advanced round. Congratulations to all five of you for making it thus far. To determine the order of play in this round, each of you will attempt to solve a puzzle. The order in which you complete this puzzle will determine the order in which you answer questions in the advanced round, but the fastest going first. Now here is your puzzle. Match trigonometric functions with the same value. Now we have our order of play with Tochuku going first, Aurel first second, Habib third, Akachuku fourth, and Yusuf fifth. That is the answer to our match question. Now it's time to select your preferred subject. Tochuku, what's your preferred subject? Chemistry. Chemistry? Yes, ma'am. Oral affair, and yours? Mass. Mathematics? Habib? Biology. Biology. Akachuku? Physics. Physics it is. Yusuf? Chemistry. Tojuku, are you going to go with chemistry again? Chemistry again. Chemistry it is. Aurel Fair. Chemistry? Habib? Biology. Biology again. Akachuku? Physics. Physics it is. Yusuf? Biology. Chemistry. Chemistry. Real fair? Biology. Habib. Physics. Akachuku. Biology. Biology. We're out of biology. Yusuf, what's it going to be? Physics. Physics. No one seems to be picking general knowledge. Tochuku? Physics. Physics. And we're out of physics as well. We're left with general knowledge and mathematics. Real fair? Ma. Habib? General knowledge. General knowledge it is. Akachuku? Mass. Yusuf? Mass. Tochuku? General knowledge. Aurel Fair? General knowledge. Habib? What? And we're what? out of mathematics. Akachuku? General knowledge. Yusuf? General knowledge. Now our question bucket is full. Are we all ready? Yes, ma. Tochuku. Now is your time to spar. What is the basicity of trioxonitrate 5 acid? 1. If H2 plus O2 gives H2O, Pass. how? If X is a group, two elements, what would the formula of its oxide be? XO. What is the chemical symbol AG. for representing? The number of particles in one mole of a substance is termed? Atomicity. What type of bond exists between hydrogen and oxygen atoms in the form Hydrogen of bond. How many electrons has the chloride ion? 18. The valence electrons in a chloride ion are which oppidals? Pass. If the cation X plus has electrons configuration of 1s2, 2s2. 10. Your time is up.
Aurel Fair, you seem ready. Now is your time to spark. Simplify log 2.5 plus log 2 minus log 0. Minus 5. 1. Solve the quadratic equation 4x to the power of 2 plus 4x minus 8 is equal to 0. Minus 2 or 1. Simplify 4.8 times 10 to the power 8 Skip. divided by. Pass. How many shells are contained Three. in an atom with? What element has the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2? Silicon. Two. What is the oxidation stage of oxygen in minus H2O2? Minus 1. Which structure divides the heart Septum. into the left? Which artery supplies oxygenated blood from the heart to the rest of the body? Aorta. Simplify to square root of 6 plus square root of 48 divided by square root of 6. 3. The wheels of a tractor has a diameter of skip, 14 centimeters. Your time is up. Habib, now is your time to spa. Ascorbic acid is another name for which vitamin C. In which part of the female reproductive organ does a fetal development take place? Uterus. Androethium is another name for which part of the flower? Anta. Which structure in plants produce the female gametes? Ovary. What term describes the transfer of pollen grains from an anta? Self-pollination. The term describes an irreversible increase in size, which normally involves growth. Calculate the force of five-column charge moving Skip. perpendicularly by. Skip. What is the value of the angle of dip of a magnetic equation? Zero degree. How many forces is required to just make a 400 gram object slide along? Skip. Who is the father of modern That's garbage. Your time is up. Akachuku. Are you ready? Now is your time to spa. A substance has half-life of 30 minutes. After one hour, its mass was observed to be 3 to 5 grams. What is the mass at zero time? 1,300 grams. What is the ratio of the remaining atom of elements A and B after 200 years skip, if skip. their half lives are? Skip. What frequency should a radio station have its wave at to have a wavelength of 400 meters? Skip. Which principle states that at a pressure change it? Pascal's principle. A block of ice floats in water it's in a container. Change. Which of the ice comp What is the angle between magnetic and geographic meridian of the Earth's cold? Skip. What blood vessel takes the oxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs? Ulnary artery. Which bone is the hardest Demo, in the Demo. body? Demo. Your time is up. Yusuf, are you ready? Yeah. Now is your time to spark. How many protons are contained in calcium ion? Skip, skip. What type of separation technique is used for separating two immiscible fluids? Separating funnel method. What is the oxidation number of ion in the compound Fe2CrO43? Three, three, two. Three. What is the major function of cilia movement, in the movement. paramecium? Movement. What kind of skeleton does a cockroach possess? Exoskeleton. A fishing net caught a hairy animal. What class Skip. of organism does the animal belong? Skip. A five fully Skip. blocks and tackle. The temperature at which cooled air becomes saturated with water vapor. Saturated with water pressure. Skip. What term describes the numerical? Given n into brackets. Skip. Given that 10 to the power of minus y is equal to 0 0.00001, what is the value of y? Minus 5. The time is up. How was it? Akachuku, do you think your performance has earned you a slot at the semis? 70%. 70% sure that it has earned you a slot? And you, Tochuku, how confident are you that you're part of the three that will make it to the semis? 50. 50? Well, you never know. Are we up there? 50 or 70%? can't say. You can't say. Okay. Habib, what about you? You can't say either. Well, you never know. Yusuf? All right.
As I mentioned earlier, only three of you will proceed to the semis. Who amongst these five will make it? We'll take a break and when we return, we'll find out. He was born with no superpowers. He was just unique, with a burning desire to know more. To question the answer, and then question the question. To never stop finding new ways of doing things. Curiosity not only drives innovation, it shapes the future of businesses. So wherever it leads you, InterSwitch will be there providing diverse digital payment solutions, insights, and opportunities. Because we're committed to finding better ways to ensure that your business runs efficiently. InterSwitch, transaction solutions you can depend on. How do you become the voice of an entire continent when all the voices around you are shouting, no, you can't do it? What keeps you going when everything that should be a stepping stone becomes a stumbling block? What keeps you going is Verve. You see, Verve in your mind helps you understand that every stumbling block is actually a stepping stone. Verve in your vision helps you see nothing but possibilities. Verve in your heart gets you back up every time. And Verve in your hand? Well, let's just say that's how you get rewarded for not giving up on you. No matter what you're into, Verve is key to opening the doors you want. So forget all the questions they ask. The only question that really matters is, have you got Verve? Verve, the rewarding way to make payments. InterSwitch SPAC is an InterSwitch Switch a Future initiative. Welcome back. This is still InterSwitch SPAC 1.0. Nine contestants graced this stage today, and now we are down to five. But further, going to reduce it to three. Who amongst these five will make it? Tochuku and Yusuf. Unfortunately, you will not be joining us at the semis. Congratulations for making it thus far. You've done very well. Don't forget to continue to spark up the innovator in you. A round of applause for them, please. <laughs> Aurel Fair, Habib, and Akachuku. Congratulations to you three. I shall be seeing you at the semis. A round of applause for them, please. All right. It's been a wonderful time here on the first episode of InterSwitch Spark 1.0. And I'm sure our viewers have been sparked up. Akachuku, Abib, and Aurel Fair are moving on to the semis. Now it's time for them to shift to a higher gear as the competition is going to get tougher and more interesting. Who will be crowned the best science student in Nigeria? who will win 7.5 million Naira, which covers a five-year university scholarship, inclusive of a monthly stipend. Which team would win the innovation challenge? These are questions we need answers to, and the only way to get them is to stay connected with us, same time, same station, every week. InterSwitch Spark is proudly brought to you by InterSwitch, transactions, solutions you can depend on, and endorsed by NECO. Don't forget, you can follow us on our social media handles, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Interstreet Spark to share in the fun. Bye for now. Interstreet Spark is an Interstreet Switch a Future initiative. <laughs>